Hello YouTube and welcome to Gromforks Plays KSP. This is yet another mod spotlight. And in today's episode we will be featuring another mod that is, well, mainly for the space planes, but it is more oriented rather than the fuselage. This one is more for focused towards gear. Some of you might guess the mod of today is adjustable landing gear by a forum user Bahamuto D. Uh, I mean, the original work came from uh, the idea came from FS Wheel uh, from a forum user Snio, and uh, so here are just a couple of shots showing how the actual wheels look like once you actually are taking off so this was the first one was for the small plane and here you can see the nice big wheels for a huge SSTO that I was built here using Mug4 one of the previous mods that we have featured in the previous episodes you can just see this beautiful details on the landing gear and as it comes up it has its own even swivel and very nice very cool animations when it comes to switching so Okay, so what are the parts that come with this mod? So, it's basically three parts, but they are adjustable parts, and it's wheel. On the left-hand side, you can see the small uh, landing gear, and what I really like about them is that they even have a brake light. So if you look at the left one and the right one, you will notice a tiny uh, yellow dot, and that one usually lights up when the braking is on. So, like I said, the first one to the left is the small landing gear. Then in the middle is the big landing gear for your big SSTOs. And the one to the right is the medium one, so something in between. All of them very nicely modeled, very nicely textured, and yes. So here you can see the heavy one, which I have just shown on the big SSTO. So, what is all the fuss when it comes to the um, adjustable landing gears? Well, if you've been playing um, like with the space planes or planes in general, uh, it's very hard to put wheels on the same height, especially because in some cases the on the front wheel comes under the fuselage and the other two come somewhere under the wings or in with the other fuselage, so it becomes very hard to actually align the height, sometimes the angle, etc. So these parameters that you would normally think that they are aligned when you're taking out or checking any planes. So yeah, let me just now go, let us go briefly to the uh, vehicle, uh, to, sorry, not the vehicle assembly bin, but the space plane hangar. And let me show you how to use these wheels. So here is the small plane that we have just shown. Uh, as you can see, it doesn't have any landing gear. So I just wanted to show basically what you can do with it. So with a tweakable, with adjustable landing gear, you get tweakable sliders. And those sliders allow you to customize ride height, leg angle, wheel angle, suspension, spring, damper, scale, brake torque, and maximum steering angle. And there is also a button for automatically lining, lining them up to the ground. I find this mod to be very useful and very cool because I'm a space plane enthusiast. I really like designing my space planes. So yeah, as you can see, this would be the case if you had normal gear. So you can see the difference in height. So your plane would be like sitting at an angle to towards the runway. So, I mean, the devs have granted us some features uh, in terms of uh, gadgets and those help out, but still, this I think is far cooler. So if you look now, I have enabled the modifications. So you first have to uh, go and select the wheel and then you can go toggle adjustments to allow the adjustments to be possible. And you also adjust the alignment guide so you get the rough guidelines to see the difference and here you can see so now I can just go and I can adjust wheel height and BAM my my wheels are level it's really that simple so when I tell you this is really a fantastic 
This is a fantastic mod. I really, really enjoy it. I really like it. And yeah. So you can also adjust the angle of the wheels, if you can see. You can adjust the leg angle so that it's like, you know, wider, more narrow, etc. And also the wheel angle to correct and compensate from that. Then you can flip the side. So <laughs> in that case, the wheels do rotate inwards. So it's sort of like mirroring. And then you can increase the scale. And also you can... Mm, you can uh, modify the damper and the spring, which is basically how much uh, the wheels will amort when landing. And you can press auto align, which is not a good idea to, to do when you're uh, being inverted. So I'm now just correcting a little bit the leg angle and I press auto align wheel. And those actually make the wheel perpendicular to the ground. The problem is that my plane is upside down. So the wheels turned at 90 degree angle. Yeah, so as you can see, a lot of adjustments to be made, a lot of sliders to play around with, and um, very handy, especially when you're placing uh, the front wheel and also the rear wheels at uneven angles. I found this mod to be essential if you are uh, really a fan of designing planes, space planes, SSDOs, Anything that takes off using the runway and has wheels, basically. So also you can toggle heat shielding, which makes these guys um, go dark. Let's see, uh, toggle heat shielding, yeah. So this makes the cargo base look dark, which I guess is kind of cool. Okay, so what else can we do? We can also, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go dis disable and I'm gonna untoggle the heat shielding. So, as you can see now, the wheels are perfectly aligned to the ground. So let's take this plane for a spin, shall we? And as you can see, now the wheels are sitting more or less okay. I mean, it's still slightly angled, but uh, much, much less than it would, would have been if I haven't extended the wheel. And they have also very nice animations. Also, they are very nice in terms of um, when they're landing, you hear a little bit, doot doot, you know, like uh, when the le wheel breaks, uh, wheels touch the ground, you see a little bit of smoke. See, very nice, very smooth transition. Yeah. Mandatory roll. So, well, let's just say it this way. This is not a testament to my flying skills. It's uh, featuring the landing gear. However, I wanted to show you one more cool thing when it comes to landing. You see the beautiful animations, how they even rotate at an angle when you're taking them out. I mean, modders of the KSP really do amazing and fantastic work. I don't think that we always give them the credit for it. <clears throat> this one is definitely one of my favorites. So, landing and... come on, come on. Hear that sound? Beautiful. So it just goes like, eh, eh, and you hear, see the see the dust a little bit, and I mean that's really something that adds to the immersion intensely. So landed, and you even see how the wheels are reacting to the pressures of the force, basically by you know suspension. So let us now also what you have on the other gear where you can enable the steering and you can also enable the motor so you can see a little bit how the wheel turns nicely all of those animations are done very well very nice so yeah so these guys, I know that I have been sh recently showing you guys the mostly the mods which are related to the space planes or the plane building. I've just kind of 
pretty much into it these days so that's why I've been like more focusing on the space plane parts rather than the other ones but I do promise other mods will come into consideration pretty shortly so no worries there uh, and just showing off this beautiful wheels for a few more moments until we actually decide to call it off but uh, anyway guys uh, this has pretty much been this has pretty much been the um, the showing for the adjustable landing gear once again by Bahamuto D and uh, once again you can see the brake lights so uh, I will post the link to the mod in the description of this video anyway like if you like the video hit subscribe for more KSP content that will be coming soon so until next episode thank you very much for watching this is Groundworks signing off